Industry ministry officials have outlined the gravity of the problem. They estimate about 300 tons of radioactive groundwater is getting into the ocean every day. They say some 1,000 tons of water flows daily from a mountainside into the ground below the plant. Of that, 300 tons accumulates in an area TEPCO engineers know is contaminated with radioactive substances. That's the tainted water that's leaking into the ocean. Aside from that, ministry officials say 300 tons of groundwater doesn't get contaminated, and it also flows into the sea. The remaining 400 tons of water leaks into the basement of the building's housing reactors 1, 2, 3, and 4 at Fukushima Daiichi. That water becomes contaminated. TEPCO workers pump it out and store it. Industry ministry officials say their figures are based on water table data offered by TEPCO and not a detailed analysis of various data. They say they cannot rule out the possibility that contaminated groundwater started leaking into the sea just after the accident at the plant in March 2011. TEPCO officials admitted for the first time last month that contaminated groundwater is getting into the ocean. We have not checked the figures given by the industry ministry. We are currently unable to say how much of the groundwater is getting into the ocean. Please give us time to check on this. TEPCO managers are considering freezing the soil beneath reactor buildings. Crews would bury a number of pipes underground. Coolants kept at minus 40 degrees Celsius would be circulated inside. The frozen soil would form something like a wall and act as a dam to prevent water from getting into the contaminated area. But it would take one to two years to complete the work. It will also be extremely costly to maintain the cooling operations. Also, no one has ever succeeded in keeping such an extensive underground area frozen for such a long time. Industry ministry officials will meet on Thursday to go over details of the plan.